Hi, my name is uh, Alfonso Archer. I'm 58 years old. Um, I live in Wiltshire uh, with my partner, Cora. Hi, Alfonso. I'm Ambrose. I'm 66 years of age. I am happily married. Uh, I have been for the past 37 years to my wife, Jennifer. We have four children. What side effects did you notice? You kind of just feel that, you know, quite, quite emasculated. I mean, emasculated in terms of the hormone therapy, which, um, you know, you get erectile dysfunction, you know, you, it doesn't work um, and, and it changes your mood. So, um, you know, so there was lots of feelings of low mood, the um, you know, erectile dysfunction because of the hormones was only temporary and because of the radiotherapy, um, it, that took longer, you know, it took probably about a good year um, before everything settled down. So, so psychologically, you know, in, in early on, it, it, it was, it was, yeah, it was dehumanizing um, in terms of those feelings. And, um, and eventually, you know, it, it, it does get better. The things that came to try to thwart my efforts, you know, like depression, disillusion, I was quite prepared for the operation. Mm. But I wasn't prepared for prepared for the loss of libido. Alfonso, do you feel, you know, as somebody in the community, that there are subjects that you cannot speak to members of the community about? In terms of the black community, yeah, absolutely. In fact, very close to home, my brother. Um, was subsequently diagnosed with prostate cancer but you know it took a year you know after me trying to push him to go and get checked out and and I and, and just speaking to other black males I just find this um, was was coming through a lot more strongly than you know a lot of my white friends you know in terms of this fear around you know that someone's putting their fingers you know a digital rectal examination was almost akin to you know, some, some, some act of, you know, beyond comprehension. So yeah, it was, it, it, it's been a tough battle and I advocate and talk a lot about prostate cancer, but I find that, yeah, with, with my black friends, yes, there is, it's almost a taboo area. You know, they don't want to talk about, you know, the prostate or anything that affects that sexual function. And they kind of, yeah, you know, kind of struggle with that. Did you feel that you could talk to your friends about the side effects of prostate cancer? Were they receptive um, to what you had to say? It was difficult initially, but, you know, with, with time and experience of talking about that, it became much easier. And, they, and, and, and I found people were actually understood the more you explained it to them. And then you have your um, GP, you know, um, I would certainly, you know, speak to my GP and definitely speak to your partner as well, um, I would say, because sometimes some of these things that you're going through, you know, you don't want to just hold it to yourself. So, you know, be open with your partner. H how did you um, speak to your friends, you know, about, about the side effects? Um, you know, was that something that was easy for you to do? Well, friends are such a, a precious commodity. I mean, my two oldest sons, I, I regard them as my friends. I can go with the horrors of the surgery I had to have, et cetera. And all they want you to hear you say is, you, you're better. You're improving. I'm pleased to tell you that I'm 100% cancer free. And long may that be the case. It, it, it's been a wonderful, horrible experience. And it would be an injustice if I couldn't share the benefits of this mm. with people who are similarly afflicted. You know what, it's, it's been really inspirational actually, you know, speaking to you, Ambrose, you know, another, you know, black male that, you know, we, we, you know we, we've never met before, but, you know, I just feel such a connection to, to be able to talk about some of these taboo subjects and, and, and really, um, you know, show other black men that, you know, it, it's, it's not, you're not, you're not losing your manhood by talking about erectile dysfunction. Um, you know, it, it, it's something that, is going to affect a lot of men, you know, black or white. 
and and it's been lovely you know as another black man talking to another black man that that we you know we've been so open with each other and i hope this you know really will help everyone else